Hey, this is Miller Rhodes, and uh, it, as you probably have figured out, I like to make videos in zany places. And this is the golf cart that uh, my apartment complex maintenance guys use to get around the complex. And as you can see, it's been left unattended. So I figured that I'd make the video uh, sitting in the golf cart today to talk to you. Uh, one of the things that I want to stress to you as being most important to me is the whole aspect of personal development and how it relates to your financial bottom line. When someone proposed to me that reading books and developing myself as a person could somehow add to my bottom line, I thought that was crazy. How can reading a bunch of books uh, written by guys who have been more successful than me, how is that going to help me make money? Because I need to make money now. I mean, how am I going to make money? sitting here reading this book well it has a really strange effect and the truth of the matter is is that when you read about the habits of successful people and you begin to emulate the things that they do you begin to move in a direction where you'll get similar results and that's kind of a secret and the reason it's a secret is people who are telling you to do personal development they probably haven't broken it down for you like that but that's really what it comes down to and sometimes you we're going we have to be a little bit patient while we're doing our personal development but you could be taking massive action at the same time be doing all that you can do uh, getting traffic uh, learning how to do the things that maybe you could correlate more as money-making activities but there's no way you get the results that you want really in the end without integrating the personal development as well now a lot of us have had problems figuring out where to start a lot of us have had problems figuring out uh, how to get unstuck from where we are now and what I'm going to tell you is that I have what I call the five quadrants approach uh, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, and financial. So if you look at those five areas of your life, chances are you're not where you want to be, at least in, you know, three of the five. Uh, maybe all five. Uh, maybe you're where you want to be in all five, but we could always do better. So something that I did is I just assumed myself at the very bottom in each of those areas even though I might be doing okay in a few and I set a small goal in each of those areas like for example say I'm broke right now well I could start saving a dollar a week and improve my financial situation that way let's say I'm overweight well what I could do is I could decide just like I wrote in the Marathon Man, which is an email I sent out earlier, that I'm going to walk for one minute every day. That's not necessarily going to get me into massive shape, but I can walk for one minute every day. It's easy, and it's more than I'm doing now. And then maybe next week, I could move up to where I'm walking two minutes every day. Spiritual. Uh, whatever your belief system is, if you think that maybe you should be praying every day. Well, you don't have to lock yourself in a room on your knees and pray for two hours. Uh, you could simply pray out loud or speak to your deity. Um, I'm a Christian, but speak to your deity out loud uh, for just a couple minutes, have a regular conversation while driving in your car or whatever. Do something like that. So you see, you could just set a small goal in each of these areas, do that consistently for a while, get a little bit better, and then set a new goal. And so what I'm going to try to do in a future video or in a future email is to lay out for you kind of how I did that for a while. All right? Thanks for, thanks for your attention. I'll see you later.